and it's Ratu Diotti in the lead by two to three lengths with two to jump. In second place is Ali Ambrosio. Back in third is Ascan. Three Queens runs on on the outside of Ms. Deline and then Flame and Magic climbing for the final flight. And it's Ratu Diotti and Sean Flanagan opening up a clear advantage now over Ali Ambrosio. The final flight's coming up for Ratu Diotti at the last and jumped it beautifully. Is clear from Ali Ambrosio who was tired and jumping and then three queens and Ms. Deline is running on between horses. But up towards the finish, Ratu Giotti gets her opportunity here and wins in fine style for Sean Flanagan and Robbie McNamara with Ms. Deline taking second from three queens and it's Ratu Giotti in the lead by two to three lengths with two to jump. In second place is Ali Ambrosio. Back in third is Ascan. Three queens runs on on the outside of Ms. Deline and then Flamin' Magic climbing for the final flight and it's Ratu Yachty and Sean Flanagan opening up a clear advantage now over Ali Ambrosio. The final flight's coming up for Ratu Yachty at the last and jumped it beautifully. Is clear from Ali Ambrosio who was tired and jumping and then three queens and Ms. Deline is running on between horses but up towards the finish Ratu Yachty gets her opportunity here and wins in fine style for Sean Flanagan and Robbie McNamara with Ms. Deline taking second from three queens and then ask Anne, Ali Ambrosio and Crawford's Mill next. And it's Sam Crow. Strolling up to Delta Work, then comes Jets half the odds. Good thine Tara on the outside as Turbo Jet weakens, coming now towards the second last. And Sam Crow hits the front, takes over from Delta Work and Jets on the inside. Next is half the odds and Good thine Tara, but easing clear as Sam Crow racing towards the final flight. It's Sam Crow and Jack Kennedy at the last with a growing advantage over Jets and then Delta Work half the odds next, followed by Good thine Tara, but up towards the finish and the Monksville novice hurdle. Sam Crow takes his unbeaten record to six and counting Sam Crow and Jack Kennedy are clear winners for Gordon Elliott and Jiggins Town. And it's Sam Crow strolling up to Delta Work then comes Jets half the odds Good Thine Tara on the outside as Turbo Jet weakens coming now towards the second last and Sam Crow hits the front takes over from Delta Work and Jets on the inside next is half the odds and Good Thine Tara but easing clear as Sam Crow racing towards the final flight at Sam Crow and Jack Kennedy at the last with a growing advantage over Jets and then Delta Work half the odds next followed by Good Thine Tara but up towards the finish and the Monksville novice hurdle. Sam Crow takes his unbeaten record to six and counting Sam Crow and Jack Kennedy are clear winners for Gordon Elliott and Jiggins Town with Jet second in third is Delta Work and then half the odds Good Time Tara, Turbo Jet Cosmos Moon and Creation a long way behind. And it's Balbeer de Matan. Maintaining this clear advantage at the second last from Lex Talionis. How lucky can we be? And then Balanabula Steel with the Mooch running on in the center of the track. But it's Balbeer de Matan, the one to catch. And has been for a good bit of this race now. As Balbeer de Matan is over the final flight. A slight mistake. But is clear from Lex Talionis. Then the Mooch Admiral Brian next. And up the hill towards the finish. It's Balbeer de Matan and Dennis O'Regan. They've made all a good scramble for the second spot that's going to go to the Mooch ahead of Lex Talionis but Balbeer de Matan and Dennis O'Regan win for Stephen Mahan with the Mooch second and it's Balbeer de Matan maintaining this clear advantage at the second last from Lex Talionis how lucky can we be and then Balanabula Steel with the Mooch running on in the center of the track but it's Balbeer de Matan the one to catch and has been for a good bit of this race now as Balbeer de Matan is over the final flight a slight mistake but is clear from Lex Talionis then the Mooch Admiral Brian next and up the hill towards the finish it's Balbeer de Matan and Dennis O'Regan they've made all a good scramble for the second spot that's going to go to the Mooch ahead of Lex Talionis but Balbeer de Matan and Dennis O'Regan win for Stephen Mahan with the Mooch second third Lex Talionis then Admiral Bryan and Molino Balanabula Steel and then Rod de Dubois ahead of Dixie Highway.
Tycoon Prince is coming there on the far side, carrying more than a mat between horses than Surf Instructor. At the second last, Album Photo is the leader, but only just pressed now by Tycoon Prince in the centre of the track, then carrying more than a mat as they make their way uphill to the final fence. Album Photo pressed by Tycoon Prince on the far side as they come to the final fence, and it's Album Photo who just has it at the last from Tycoon Prince on the far side, who's no more to give, and Album Photo is clear. Bearing on now from Tycoon Prince and Album Photo wins for Paul Townend and Willie Mullins. Willie won it last year with men. Tycoon Prince is coming there on the far side, carrying more than a mat between horses than Surf Instructor. At the second last, Album Photo is the leader, but only just pressed now by Tycoon Prince in the centre of the track, then carrying more than a mat as they make their way uphill to the final fence. Album Photo pressed by Tycoon Prince on the far side as they come to the final fence, and it's Album Photo who just has it at the last from Tycoon Prince on the far side, who's no more to give. And Album Photo is clearing on now from Tycoon Prince and Album Photo wins for Paul Townend and Willie Mullins. Willie won it last year with men. Tycoon Prince is second, then Caddick Moon and Matt a long way behind in third, then Surf Instructor, Manila till dawn, and no man behind. Bonnie Kate, Sean Flanagan, with on the far side, Marla Beach and Davy Russell coming to challenge. They're followed by Don't Tell No One and Andrew Lynch with Poor Man's Hill next and fourth. They've one fence to jump and Marla Beach hits the front between the final two fences in the Ladbrook Troy Town and is stretching on three lengths clear from Bonnie Kate, Don't Tell No One and Poor Man's Hill. The final fence now and it's Marla Beach in front from Don't Tell No One who's running on into second. Then Bonnie Kate and Poor Man's Hill up towards the finish, Marla Beach and the colours of Chris Jones. It's a four Troy Town in a row for Gordon Elliott. Marla Beach has lifted it from Don't Tell No One, Bonnie Kate, Poor Men's Hill. They're clear from Tesseract Space Cadet. General Principal, he rocks. Then what are you doing to me? Potter's Point, I can't say last goodbye. Hurricane Darwin, wounded warrior and Arkrish. The others pulled up. Bonnie. Kate Sean Flanagan with on the far side Marla Beach and Davy Russell coming to challenge. They're followed by Don't Tell No One and Andrew Lynch with Poor Man's Hill next and fourth. They've one fence to jump and Marla Beach hits the front between the final two fences in the Ladbrook Troy Town and is stretching on three lengths clear from Bonnie Kate. Don't Tell No One and Poor Man's Hill. The final fence now and it's Marla Beach in front from Don't Tell No One who's running on into second. Then Bonnie Kate and Poor Man's Hill up Towards the finish, Marla Beach and the colours of Chris Jones. It's a four Troy Town in a row for Gordon Elliott. Marla Beach has lifted it from Don't Tell No One, Bonnie Kate, Poor Men's Hill. They're clear from Tesseract Space Cadet. General Principal, he rocks. Then what are you doing to me? Potter's Point, I can't say last goodbye. Hurricane Darwin, wounded warrior and Arkrish. The others pulled up. Making ground on the outside of Folsom Blue. Monlino is there towards the far side. And then Bay de Zeal, brave out pair of brown eyes. And then Elusive Theatre and Shannock. They're coming to the second last. And it's Red Devil Lads. But on the far side, challenging Monlino. Glen Lowe has now been asked in third. Then Folsom Blue as they begin the run of the final flight in the Proudstown Handicap. Red Devil Lads from on the far side, Monlino. Then Glen Lowe in third. The three have it between them. The final flight, Red Devil Lads is Game in front here. Glen Lowe on the outside of Monlino. They got 150 yards to go. Red Devil Lads and David Mullins is holding the JP McManus pair. And Red Devil Lads for a game win in the Proudstown handicap for David Mullins and his cousin Emmett coming to the second last. And it's Red Devil Lads with on the far side challenging Monlino. Glen Lowe has now been asked in third. Then Folsom Blue as they begin the run of the final flight in the Proudstown handicap. Red Devil Lads from on the far side Monlino then Glen Lowe and third the three have it between them the final flight Red Devil Lads is game in front here Glen Lowe on the outside of Monlino they got 150 yards to go Red Devil Lads and David Mullins is holding the JP McManus pair and Red Devil Lads for a game win in the Proudstown handicap for David Mullins and his cousin Emmett second is Glen Lowe then Monlino and Folsom Blue and they moved on from Shannock Bay to Zealand Elusive Theatre.
A couple of lengths in front beginning the climb from Cordovan Brown, Red Hot Philly Peppers, Lady Ski is next, being followed by Biddy the Boss, and these five are cleared of best of the Rye, but racing towards the final furlong now, and the leader is still Cracker Dancer from Cordovan Brown, who's trying very hard up the rail, and as they race inside the last 200 yards, Cracker Dancer from Cordovan Brown, the pair have it between them, they're racing up towards the finish now, Cracker Dancer is all out from Cordovan Brown, Cracker Dancer extends her winning run, and wins for owner Brian and Ray Hackett, second is Cordovan Brown, in third place is Red Hot Philly Peppers, then Best of Dubai Lady Iskia, followed in by Biddy the Boss and Moonlight Escape. A couple of lengths in front beginning the climb from Cordovan Brown, Red Hot Philly Peppers, Lady Ski is next being followed by Biddy the Boss and these five are cleared of best of the Y but racing towards the final furlong now and the leader is still Cracker Dancer from Cordovan Brown who's trying very hard up the rail and as they race inside the last 200 yards Cracker Dancer from Cordovan Brown the pair have it between them they're racing up towards the finish now Cracker Dancer is all out from Cordovan Brown Cracker Dancer Dancer extends her winning run and wins for owner Brian and Ray Hackett. Second is Cordovan Brown. In third place is Red Hot Philly Peppers, then Best of Dubai Lady Iskia, followed in by Biddy the Boss and Moonlight Escape.